Siddharth MP, our correspondent who's there with me live. Siddharth, let me come back to you. Uh, you heard those claps just as I did. Smiles on everyone's faces. Uh, give us more. CMS3 has been successfully launched. Yeah, indeed. Uh, this is a milestone uh, given that this is the second dedicated mil military satellite that's being launched spe specifically for the Indian Navy. The last time this happened was from foreign soil. So it happened from Koro in French Guyana and it happened in 2013. That time India had to rely on a foreign rocket on a European space agency, Ariane rocket, because India did not possess that kind of rocketry muscle power at that point in time. But now, 12 years later, we're able to do it uh, from home soil on our own rocket from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. So certainly this is a capable boost for the Indian Navy because it's critical to have such kind of communication satellites because the Navy is primarily the force that deploys far from Indian shores because if you look at the Army or the Air Force, their activities are predominantly within Indian uh, airspace or within India's land borders. But if you look at the Navy, they're an expeditionary force and the Indian Navy has to travel far from Indian shores. In fact, thousands of kilometers, we know how far Indian Navy ships and submarines are deployed. Sometimes they go to Australia, sometimes they go as far as Russia, sometimes they go uh, as far as Europe. So they go to different parts parts of the world for uh, mission deployments and operational requirements and even for joint exercises. So when they deploy as far out, so for communications and secure communications with their bases, be it voice transmission, th that is to make phone calls, or be it to make uh, data transmission, that is internet connectivity, or even when it comes to video transmission, live video transmission of operations or their activities, it is extremely crucial to have an indigenous secure link. And that's what this satellite provides, Shivan. Indigenous secure link. Absolutely right, Siddharth. And we saw the role that ISRO and the eyes that ISRO provided during Operation Sindur as well, when all agencies within India, they came together to protect Indian land. And this time, now we're seeing just about six months later, we're seeing the launch of CMS-3. Again, carried out from LVM-3M5, India's heaviest rocket, which has had another success rate. That means 100% success, CMS-3. This will be providing more of a boost to the Indian security apparatus. Siddharth, I'm going to come back to you if you can expand that little more, what this will mean for the Indian Navy and, of course, for India. What happens is uh, there are many countries that operate um, their own armed forces, but the fact remains that not all of them have their own space program. If you look at it, there's barely about a handful of countries that have their own space program and indigenous launch capability, indigenous capability to build and launch satellites from home soil. That's a critical capability because there are many navies. But it's important to have eyes in space. It's important to have sort of an awareness from space because that's what improves your awareness of the land area, of, of the airspace, and of the maritime domain. So space is uh, naturally the fourth domain of warfare and people know it. it's something that's um sort of established itself over the years. Space is a new domain of warfare and space is increasingly getting militarized. While this is not um, a satellite meant for any offensive purposes, what it does enable is it does enable offensive and defensive operations because communications are critical. Because in wartime, what happens is communications, if they are crippled during an attack, then it sort of compromises the capability to respond. It compromises the capability to sort of handle that situation. But having our own satellites means that we have the sovereign capability. Imagine if a country has to depend on a foreign country's satellites mm. during wartime or during an emergency situation. We are at the mercy of the other country that's providing that service, or we are at the mercy of the service provider that's providing that particular satellite communication service to us. But when that satellite communication is affected, then we lose eyes and we lose our, you know, uh, domain awareness. Mm. So that's where it's critical to have our own satellites because that enables us to have real-time awareness of, of what's going on. It helps us stay in touch with our assets in near real-time. Shivan. Real-time awareness and our own eyes watching over our own land. That's what this indigenous CMS-3 will mean for India. We'd like to cut back to the live visuals as we now hear. The satellite weighing 4,410 kg is precisely injected within the specification of the orbit. Let me congratulate the entire ISRO community, the project teams, all the team members and our industrial partners for your outstanding contribution for accomplishment of this great mission. This is our 103rd launch from Sri Harikota and the eighth successive, successful mission of the LVM-3 launch week. As all of you are aware, the previous LVM-3 vehicle, that is the LVM-3M4, launched the most prestigious Chandrayaan-3 mission. That mission brought glory to the 
India as the first country to land the spacecraft successfully near the south pole of the moon. Today's mission has brought yet another important glory to India. The CMS-03 is the heaviest satellite launched by the LVM-3 to the GTO orbit so far. For accomplishing this, the vehicle has to be improved, the performance has to be improved in multiple directions for enhancing the payload capability by 10%. In today's mission, all the vehicles' systems have performed satisfactorily and the orbit we achieved within the required specification. I am also happy to announce that till today, we have done eight LVM3, LVM3 launches, including the first experimental mission. And all the launches so far accomplished by the LVM3 vehicle is 100% successful. <laughs> this great success is due to the open work culture of ISRO, meticulous and systematic mechanisms put in place for the review of various activities and the dedicated hard and smart work of Team ISRO along with our industrial partners. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate each and every one of you, our family members, our industrial partners and the academia who have wholeheartedly support for this mission. Coming to the satellite, the CMS-03 satellite is a multi-band communication satellite with coverage over a wide oceanic region, including the Indian landmass, and is designed for providing communication services for at least 15 years. The satellite incorporates a host of new technologies and yet another shiny example of Atman Bharat. Let me congratulate the entire satellite team spread across various ISRO centers for realizing this very, very important, improved, complex satellite for the communication capability of our country. I must tell that we had really a tough, challenging time during the launch campaign. You know, the weather was not that cooperative. But then, let me take this opportunity to compliment each and every one of you, even under this difficult weather condition. We could come out successfully and accomplish this mission in a grand manner and successful manner. <laughs> Dear friends, let me also congratulate all the review team members chairman and members of various committees, including our mentors and earlier leaders who have shoulder to shoulder with us for accomplishment of this mission. We really congratulate and compliment each and every one of you and our family members on this occasion. And I also would like to announce an important experiment what we have carried out. The indigenously developed C-25 creation stage for the first time, we have, after successfully injecting the satellite in the orbit at, and reorienting the stage, for the first time, we have successfully ignited the thrust chamber for the first time, reignited the thrust chamber. And this is going to be a great experiment, which is going to be a satellite. The CMS-03 satellite is a multi-band communication satellite with coverage over a wide oceanic region, including the Indian landmass, and is designed for providing communication services for at least 15 years. The satellite incorporates a host of new technologies and yet another shiny example of Atman Bharat. Let me congratulate the entire satellite team spread across various ISRO centers for realizing this very, very important improved complex satellite for the communication capability of our country. I must tell that we had really a tough, challenging time during the launch campaign. You know, the weather was not that cooperative. But then, let me take this opportunity to compliment each and every one of you, even under this difficult weather condition. We could come out successfully and accomplish this mission in a grand manner and successful manner. <laughs> Dear friends, let me also congratulate all the review team members, chairmen and members of various committees, 
including our mentors and earlier leaders who have soldered to soldier with us for accomplishment of this mission. We really congratulate and compliment each and every one of you and our family members on this occasion. And I also would like to announce an important experiment what we have carried out. The indigenously developed C25 cryogenic stage. For the first time, we have, after successfully injecting the satellite in the orbit and reorienting the stage, for the first time, we have successfully ignited the thrust chamber for the first time, reignited the thrust chamber. And this is going to be a great experiment which is going to feed data for restarting the cryogenic stage in future for enabling the mission flexibility for placing multiple satellites in various orbits using the Bahubali rocket LVM-3. Once again, my heartiest congratulations to each and every one of you. Now, along with me, we have got the project directors of the both launch vehicle and satellite and all the center directors who have worked hard for accomplishment of this mission. Let us hear first from the LVM3 project director, Mr. Victor Joseph. Mr. Victor Joseph. Good evening, ISRO. Good evening, India. LVM3 has done it once again. Most respected Chairman ISRO, former Chairman Kiran Kumar sir, center directors, senior members and dignitaries here, and all those present here and online. Congratulations to each one of us for the eighth successive successful mission of LVM-3. And this time, the vehicle has lifted the heaviest communication satellite from the Indian soil, the CMS-03, and injected it into the required orbit. And also for the first time, we have demonstrated the reignition of the cryogenic engine. On this proud occasion, my sincere thanks to our beloved chairman for his continuous guidance and encouragement, and to all the center directors for their constant support. Special appreciation to all the review forums that meticulously examined every system ensuring this flawless mission. My heartfelt thanks to the system development agencies across all launch vehicle centers, industry partners, assembly and integration teams, technical facilities, and quality assurance groups. This success truly reflects ISRO's spirit of teamwork. A warm thanks also to the family members of all team members for their unwavering support behind the scenes. Finally, I wish to acknowledge my project team, Vehicle Director Sri Biju Thomas, Associate Vehicle Director Sudish Kumar, Associate Project Director Sri Raj Shagar, Deputy Project Directors, and every member of our team. Your technical excellence and commitment made this achievement possible. And before concluding, I wish Spacecraft Director and team for very successful spacecraft operations in the coming days. And with the same determination and teamwork, we will continue to make our nation proud. Thank you and Jai Hind. Now we will hear from the CMS03 project director, Sri Rajendra Kumar. Respected Chairman Isro. All right, so that is uh, live in uh, Sri Harikota, where India has launched the LVM3 vehicle, which continues with a 100% success rate. And uh, we'll continue updating you on what is happening in Sri Harikota, because this is the biggest satellite that India has launched so far. 